Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have our latest Star Wars Shatterpoint unboxing looking at Clone Force 99 uh, aka the Bad Batch uh, coming for Star Wars Shatterpoint. So um, this has just landed in the UK um, so obviously a bit of a bit of delays in the last couple of weeks I think it was officially supposed to be out on Friday last week um, with a couple of delays but we've got it, it's in our hands now, it's still in shrink wrap, so I haven't even had a look inside of it yet. Um, let's let's crack right on. So we've got our Clone Force 99 here. So we've got uh, where are we? Hunter, Omega, and Wrecker, Crosshair, Tech, and Echo. Uh, so five different bases. So six minis in total. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, six minis total. Five different bases, which is quite nice. So it does set you back a little bit more than the normal squad pack, uh, but you can probably pick it up at a reasonable price. We've got obviously German, Polish, French, and Spanish bits on the side. And then on the back here, we've got the normal kind of spiel that you get about them. We've got the models here, and they're obviously all coming with either helmet or helmetless uh, varieties for them all as well. I think mine are all gonna be made helmet. Helmet on, they are gonna look like they are going straight into battle um and yeah let's crack right open and see what's in it so very excited very excited to play these excited to have a clone primary um so something that i've been looking forward to for a few months now uh since this was, this was properly announced um, almost we're, we're one more clone away from being able to run a full clone uh, strike team because uh, all we need is another primary unit somewhere and then we can run an all clone squad. So we know there's an all Jedi squad coming uh, at some point next. I think it's next year when uh, like Kylie Mundy comes out with his Jedi Padawans or whatever they're going to be called. Um, so that'll be an all Jedi squad. Hopefully we can get another clone to go alongside these guys. Maybe, you never know, we might see Crosshair as the primary when Crosshair comes out as Empire Crosshair or something like that. So let's take a look in the box. Uh, so a bit heavier, as you would expect. We have got cards, cards, sprues, and a little bit of info. And that is everything in there, so we can get rid of, get rid of the box now. As always, we're going to check out the read list first. Nothing major on there, just the credits for the guys. So shout out to AMG. For putting this all together and one thing i've been really looking forward to is seeing how much of this stuff you actually need to put on the base so can we make a hunter that's not jumping over this whatever this is security panel so i expect this stuff on crosshair will probably be just little additions to the base but like does tech need to be there so i'm not a not a huge fan of adding extra details to the base but these are the battle droid pieces from i think they came with the queen amidala uh, pack uh, we are brave squad pack so uh, it'll be interesting to see i'm going to add those there i think that that fits a bit more thematically uh let's have a look at just cards first because the reality is we probably know what we're getting well i did think that and then last time amg threw a bit of a curveball with the hondo pack so they've gone back to it here so in my hondo pack which i appreciate i haven't unboxed for the channel and i've already put together and i'm probably not now not going to unbox for the channel but i got order cards for all of the different uh, languages instead of just the four so uh, there are uh, four order cards hunter wrecker and omega tech and uh, tech and echo and then crosshair and we've got our english version uh, there so we've got five Hunter, they're double-sided, and we know that Wrecker and Omega are double-sided as well. And then the other three, all single-sided. I picked up picked up one too many. That's why. So we're going to keep them. We're going to keep them. All the other cards are going to go and join my recycling pile. And the exact same thing here. We've got English versions of unit cards and then the rest of them. All from our overseas friends. So let's have a quick side up. Put those bits away. What are we actually here for though? We're here to have a look at the sprues and what is in the sprues. So, uh, it's not these bases, these bases are 
from something else that I've made. But I'm not sure what, because I don't know why I've got so many sweat bases. No, there we go. We have, I think it's four different bases. So, no surprise here. The four bases are the four bases. Uh, nothing new coming our way yet yeah, from that one. The two large bases are the two large bases. Obviously, you're only going to use one of these for Wrecker and Omega. Uh, and my hope is I'm going to try and magnetize Omega to the base so I can take her on and off. Uh, although she always technically is part of the team, you want to run this as more of the Republic Bad Batch. Um, you wouldn't have Omega, and I'm just hoping now I can take her off the base purely from her sake purpose. And then we've got two sprues here, lovingly fixed together to keep them nice and safe. Let's just pop them out of there. Pop and pop. And then we've got some interesting things to look at. So let's start with this base, which is, let's try and work out who this is. So we've got tech on this one and we've got crosshair, maybe echo. Who knows? This is definitely tech. You can see there's his helmet there. Hopefully we can get that. So looks like there's his helmetless version and then helmeted. So he's going to be there as well. We've got... In fact, this might have Echo and... No, it doesn't. And we've got Crosshair as well. So we've got Crosshair. This is face and then his helmet there. As well, and as suspected, yeah, the other bits for his base are completely separate. But it does look like we get two weapon versions. They definitely don't stick together. So it does look like you can have crosshair firing like right-handed or left-handed, which is quite cool. So we'll figure that one out as we put him together. Mm. But yeah, we can work out what exactly is going on with him. As we get to him, which means that this must be everybody else. So let's start with who have we got here? I'm gonna assume that we've got here is Hunter. So Hunter is A, looks from the looks of it. So Hunter is there, and we've got his helmet in one in two different parts. Thank you very much. AMG for that one. We've got Omega. I'm having to like flip these back and forward to find out where they are. So Omega's head is all there. We've got Wrecker. So we finally put one together, which is quite nice. So Wrecker's face and then Wrecker's helmet as well. Which means that we must have Echo somewhere. Unless, unless this is Echo down here. So... Yeah, the only thing I can't see on here, here is the port that Echo looks like he plugs into, or is that what Hunter jumps over? Let's just con consult the box. So that is the bit that Hunter jumps over. Oh, there, so it does look like that. It's going to be part, and then here is the part of the Echo. So on the bottom here is what Echo looks like he plugs into. So it, although it does look like There'll be there is a place there that he would plug an arm into. Um, it'll be interesting to see if his arm does go in there, or you could just make it without. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to the the opportunities to customize here. I think um, what's crazy is just to compare the size of like Omega's body here. So just for just for comparison, that is probably a little bit smaller than my first segment of my finger that's her entire body and then here we've got hunter's uh not hunter wrecker's leg uh which is in itself is pretty much the size of the pretty much the size of omega's body so hunter is definitely a dwarf over omega in that respect so yeah very cool looking forward to the the customization options are going to be pretty nifty on this so that is uh, everything that comes in the box we are going to through the power of magic come back when it's all made all put together and we'll see exactly how i found it and then just like that through the power of video editing we're back 
So everything is uh, has been glued together. Uh, the only exception is uh, Echo is currently not in his base. So let's just have a quick look at them all one by one. You can see where we've got to. So we start off with Hunter here. So uh, yeah, Hunter is looking looks very cool. You do have to, uh, unfortunately, you do have to glue him. Well, you don't have to. He is he is built to be glued onto this thing. So. The top part of this like security console here is glued onto his foot, so uh, not glued, uh, sculpted onto his foot. So you do have to uh, kind of stick that on there. But it's very cool. It's a very thematic pose, very dynamic. Jumping over that thing, um, and obviously I've gone with the helmet look. On the mall, I think the only thing I found a little bit difficult was getting this arm into the socket. Uh, it just looked like it could go at several different angles. Um, so I tried to use the box art as much as possible to pick up on that. It's gone out of focus. There we go. But yeah, and then even on these bits, like great detail on this stuff, like we've got the blaster scorch marks and bits like that, which is very cool. So Hunter is done, all glued together, ready to go. And then let's look at we'll look, Crosshair next. So uh, Crosshair here. So I've stuck some of that B1 Battle Droid damage on the bottom of the base there but crosshair is looking very cool again we've gone with the the helmet version um and then i think i said i talked about crosshair potentially being left-handed or right-handed um it's not he's actually got this like range finder type of thing just here uh, so that is on this sniper rifle but isn't on the other sniper rifle so this is more i guess this is more like full-on sniping as opposed to um Using a sniper rifle in a more defensive manner, manner, but he's uh, he's very cool as well. No issues at all with this guy. Um, the only thing I'm not sure, I'm not hundred percent sure what these bits are here. They're, they're clearly sculpted on the model, but I don't remember seeing anything like that on the model. But he's definitely got he's got more than one because he's also got one on the inside of this arm. So, yeah, let me know. Maybe I need to snip that off. I'm going to have a look at some photos. It looks like on the box art that that is there like that. So, but no, otherwise, no issues at all. I'm going to save my favourite, the favourite thing I've done till last. So then we've got Echo. So as I said, Echo is currently not glued onto his base. Uh, purely because I wasn't 100% sure what I was going to be doing with this little security box that comes alongside him. Um, but again, absolutely no issues at all with Echo. Uh, the box is at an appropriate height, so you can glue them into that kind of security interface. A bit like that. And it does make it the right height. Uh, the only thing I found with it is when I try to map it out on a base, let me see if I can see it on here. He becomes quite, a, there becomes a real lack of room on the base for him to go into. Uh, where is the little hole? It's something like that. But yeah, the, the base then becomes very crowded. And uh, I'm not a fan of having little bits like hanging off or anything like that. So I'm still thinking what I'm going to do with Echo. But to be fair, he might just be left like that and use that security console on something else. And the only thing that crossed there I didn't talk about is these bits. So obviously the box art has got these little like defensive walls. So he's kind of taking position around them. I've kept them off for now. Um, I'm sure I'll find something to use them on. I quite like crosshair. Just being crouched like that. But if I do decide to want to put the wall there, uh, it will fit in quite nicely. Into there. And then finally, this is my my favourite. So we've got Wrecker and Omega. So uh, I have managed to magnetise Omega to the base. So I'm uh, personally super proud of that. Uh, not too proud of the fact that I've completely ruined her foot in the process. So she will stick out a little bit. You can see there. But I'm hoping when I put some like uh, flowers or shrubs or some of my basing material around that, it won't be too noticeable. I did originally try, I don't know if you can see here, it might not be very clear. I did take a chunk out of her ankle uh, and I've green stuffed that back together uh, overnight just to uh, Give her a full foot again, but originally my plan was to stick uh, the magnet in that part of the ankle, uh, which didn't work as well as I'd hoped. But from a magnetizing piece, obviously, 
Like, very cool. She's going to sit nicely on the base. And we've got Rekka. I think Rekka was actually probably the easiest one to put together of them all. Mostly because he's so big. Um, the only thing that was a bit difficult is the his uh, weapon gets glued into a little part on his backpack. That part was quite difficult to do. And I wish I was a, I wish I was a wrecker that didn't have these random bits of door or flooring or something like that in his hands. And I do wish he had an option to stick the uh, that sort of rifle on him. But otherwise, super happy. Super happy overall. So that is the Bad Batch for Star Wars Shatterpoint. Let's stick it back on the base, make it look like he's on the base. So that is everything. Um, thank you very much for checking out the video. Do let me know your thoughts down below. Is the bad batch something you're going to pick up? Is it something you're going to skip on entirely? Are you excited to get him on the table or anything like that? Um, and if you're still here, thank you very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.